Good morning. Welcome to 4 by 8 Paper Stuff. This is Beth. We are in our river journal, but send good vibes out to Florida. We had another school shooting yesterday. Lots of children killed. Just ridiculous. But a little bit of nostalgia from the road. There's an Amish buggy and a beautiful sunrise over some silos. So here we go. In Port Mile, take the exit onto US 63 South and US 50 East. We're getting ready to cross the Missouri River. It's here. I didn't even know it was coming up. This is Jefferson City, which I'm pretty sure is the capital. Missouri River, there's the sign right there. Here we are. We're doing it together. How cool is this, Curti? Okay, uh, I gotta watch where I'm going. 63. Jefferson City. Continue on to Wrexham with Expressway. Capitol Building. Me and all the trucks. Woohoo. We crossed the Missouri River. Okay, well, you watched me cross the Missouri River. I'm still finding a few clips left on my phone and a few pictures that I didn't include. Um, today, we are going to talk about quilting. Um, this, and you're seeing some paper that I found in that little bag that I took on my trip and really didn't use a whole heck of a lot of it. But those little trees I'm going to use on the page that I'm really not satisfied with yet. Um, from whichever day that was. Um, and there's some more trees. Oh, the Lewis and Clark page. Um, so I am using some of the scraps that I brought with me and really didn't use a whole heck of a lot of uh, to make some quilt squares, fabric squares. And I probably will do this kind of stuff in my own journal from the trip, which I'm going to do a flip through, but I'm not going to do a process video on. And I'm just using, those are some stickers that I've just ran through my own work um, on my copier on sticker paper and that is a page out of one of the map books that I have bought over the last year or so and that was ran through uh, the printer with with stickers also so I'm just cutting out some pretty fabric squares and in my own personal journal I'll do something like this too but I might do it with fabric I'm not sure I'm not sure yet um, but I wanted to make some squares and I'm using quilts in this spread because a lot of the Missouri River area was the homesteaders and a lot of after we acquired it from the Louisiana Purchase slash took it away from all the Native Americans um it was a lot of homesteaders and a lot of this area has descendants of homesteaders and it's still uh, that are still farming the same lands and a lot of their traditions are still being used such as quilting. This is big quilting area so I decided because I'm a quilter I'm going to include quilting in the Missouri River section of my river journal. And I'm using scraps by making to make my fabric squares and I'm trying to make enough for the whole page to be fabric squares and um, 
And when I say fabric squares, it's really paper, but I'm going to pretend they're fabric. And I, um, I can hear the birds outside, and I heard the birds this morning when I was making this video. <laughs> You'll hear them too. Um, I just wanted it to be scrappy, like I like to do quilts at times, scrappy um, and bright and colorful, like I, I like everything. Here's some purple and red I could include. So let's clean all this off and line them up, put them on another piece of paper, and then run them through my copier. There's my journal surfing, um, or me thinking. And those quilt maker things came out of a uh, magazine subscription possibility. Here I am getting ready to clean glue them down uh, so I can photocopy it. And I really could have used the paper just as I'm doing it here instead of photocopying it, but I might want to use it again. So I decided to photocopy it and save it in that ever-expanding file that I call backgrounds that I have all this stuff that I've made. Um, one day I might show you. Oh, that would be fun. One day I might show you that file in my filing cabinet that's to the left of where I work right here. It is thicker and thicker and thicker by the day. Of just stuff that I keep making backgrounds out of. Um, so yeah, it's all kinds of different paper. And it's pretty, it's bright, and now I'm going to go photocopy it and make it my own. I'm back from the copier, and I have my pretty pieces of paper. And I'm going to trim off some of the white edges, but not all of it. I decide to keep it and label it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I already forgot from this morning. My dad did not get to come home today. His oxygen was not good enough. He backslid a little bit overnight in this morning. So hopefully tomorrow. Um, the birds outside. But it's I'm kind of brain dead It's almost days. 7 o'clock. They're waking up and talking about spring. Yay! Okay. Um, we are... According to my list, this is the last day in Missouri, but on the Missouri River, but I don't think it's going to be because there aren't 10, and I've done 10 in all the other ones. So, because I just got back from Missouri and I crossed the Missouri River, I keep encompassing my trip in this river section. And I tried not to, but this time I'm going to let it happen because I think it relates to the ex people exploring and finding um, uh, new ways. Homesteaders that were in that area and the people that followed Lewis and Clark moving across the country little by little. There were quilts in their lives is what I'm trying to say because that's what they used for blankets back then. They didn't have a an Amazon or they didn't have a Walmart or they didn't have a Target or they didn't have Bloomingdale's or whatever to order their blankets from except for maybe a very very few um, somebody was making quilts out of old clothing out of feed sacks whatever for those covered wagon days for the exploration journeys for the homesteaders and quilting is huge in Missouri still. It's huge in the Midwest completely. Um, you would think with the cotton industry here, it would be more here also. More remnants of it left here, but it's not, which is a shame. So I made my own quilt. And I'm going to talk about... Uh, quilts. There's all kinds of different quilts. And I'm making a quilt right now. I just got back from a quilt retreat. I love quilts. Um, I'm making several quilts, as you can see, from different social media stuff. But um, I use them for different purposes. I'm thankful that I've had this quilt in the works that I'm working on to work on at the hospital. Um, I'm hand piecing it so I don't have to worry about a machine and da 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 da. 
and it's allowed me, it's given me something to do in the hospital and something to focus on rather than, oh yeah, yeah, his breathing sounds terrible. Um, and I made these before I left on my trip out of Scrabble letters and just laid them out here on my work surface and took pictures of them and I'm using them. That's how I got the title for Missouri, which was an accident, but I like this. And then I thought, oh man, the quilt, the Scrabble tiles are too big, too thick, but you can photocopy them. Thank you, James Burke. You can photocopy everything. Um, so, thankfully, I've had a quilt to work on. And I'm going to use this as a tip-in. And these are just all different pieces of paper. Mostly of all of my own making. Magazine pages, travel, or, uh, composition notebook pages, book text painted over, stickers that I photocopied from my own work and from a map book collage, Tamar River paper, fun, fun, fun. Okay, so we have some white space. And when I, uh, what do you call this? Tethered them to this paper. It's just out of one of the maps that I got across and a rest area, just their like index page. But I left some of it showing and I kind of like that. And it was leaving me a little white space. Um, and then these are from inserts out of a magazine. So I want some of these for my actual journal that I make from my trip, which is coming, but it's, everything has been slowed down. But we think my dad might be going home today. Uh, my sister, by the time I left yesterday at 4, they hadn't said that. Well, actually, the doctor hadn't even come in yet. But, uh, uh, my sister called me, um, and said that he might go home today. So at least by tomorrow, we're pretty sure, unless something has happened, but I don't think so. He's progressing nicely. They took him off of oxygen yesterday. Um, but this will be five straight days in the hospital, which I don't think he's ever done in his entire life. And it's not easy for somebody set in their ways to have people poke and prod at you and interrupt your schedule and mess with your dignity and but he's handling it quite well oh no did i just cut that oh i sure did never fear we have more quilt magazines around here that rhymes or maybe i'll just write something here this is paper from china that came in stuffing of a purse or something, but it's cute. So I think I'm going to Say something about homesteading? I don't know. Quilt makers, centuries old, art form. I don't know what I'm going to say. But whatever I do say, it's going to be in this little blue block right there. I 
I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't want to mess it up. Hmm. A part of American history I was starting to do a highway 36 in Missouri which is the highway that goes horizontally from Hannibal Missouri to st. Louis or Jefferson uh, st. Joseph I think which is just north of Kansas City and there's quilt stores all along there and they call it the quilt trail and that's what I was gonna put in here I think I'm still going to but I think I'm gonna type it let's see Highway 36 Quilt Trail. I don't, hold on. I don't know how many stores are on that thing. Well, let's see if Wikipedia has anything. You know, my favorite. Highway. You'd be surprised what's on Wikipedia. 36 Quilt. Possibly not what I'm looking for, though. Although there is some neat quilt trail things okay let's see let's just google it completely because I know there's something about it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten two four 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And one of them is where I was. Missouri Star Quilt Company. Okay, 15. Hold on, there's more. Here's the... Oh, there's only one left in Hannibal? Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, 15, okay. Um... I don't know what I'm going to put back tomorrow I'll finish this page and I'll finish this page which you saw me find this that's gonna have to go in here somehow this is on moleskin cayenne paper with a dry brush so you get those cool swishes see y'all tomorrow completing a project completing and it might be the end of the Missouri which means the Danube and the Rhine are next. <gasps> so let's call Missouri done, even though it doesn't have 10 pages.
one left in the USA rivers, Zambezi we did, two, yep, two left, we only have three rivers left. Let's get going, let's do the Danube and the Rhine. And then we'll do the Rio Grande River, and then we'll do the Thames River, Thames River, whatever you call it, in London. Even though I've never been there, which I haven't been to some of these anyhow, but I just think it's in a huge city of the world, and it should be represented. And it's my book, and I'm the boss of my book. So what did I say? Danube. I'm already drawing castles, don't worry. That I have been on, and the Rhine I have been on. And I'm going to use some of my own pictures rather than Google images. But we'll have to do a title page first. I don't know if I want to use Jane Davenport paper for the title. I haven't even finished that. And I'm already... Tomorrow's going to be a title and a cleanup. How about tomorrow's a cleanup day? Tomorrow's Friday, cleanup day. Ooh, I love this one. This is Mimi Bondi in Australia. And I got this on Amazon. The only thing, I love all of this, but it's not double-sided. I mean, it is double-sided. So I end up photocopying or losing the other side. Oh, I like this one. This one's speaking to me, even though it has butterflies. I'm not really a butterfly person, but oh, that's pretty. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh, I like this pink one, too. Ooh, that's pretty. Too. And that one. Isn't this gorgeous? I like that one. Ooh, that's pretty. This one we're gonna use this oh but that maybe we'll have to use both of these at some point okay we're gonna tear this out Ugh. kills me to do that but okay oh, I could photocopy it which I might do see you all tomorrow when I use this Somehow. That's all I know. Oh, I do know something else. Here's a collage castle on an India Hindu text. That's not collaged. That's just painted. But if I put it on another piece of paper, is that considered collage? I think so. This is very generic, but fun. I like that. That could be our title. Woohoo! Okay, that's how it happens. See you tomorrow.